this is all the mud that I took from 600, 700 kilometers. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack and if you love tech, this place is for you. And today we are going to disassemble my Kingsong 16X because if you follow me for a while, you know that my wheel came damaged, so it was not working properly. So every single time that I'm riding it, it's basically doing like the boat, it's just bending front and back. I've done already almost 700 kilometers with the wheel and I have already started to disassemble. So like you can see, I have already here the pedals out. To take them out, you are going to have these screws that I have here on my hand. You are going to have these bars here. The part that is flat, the side that is flat, is the one that is next to the screws and the other one is the opposite side. So when you are trying to put it back in place, you already know how to do it. When you are doing this, I recommend you to put the screws in a specific place and I recommend you to put some notes. The first thing that you have to do after is to remove all the screws they are on the sides. And for that, I recommend you to use this type of tools that you can find to disassemble phones because it will be much easier just to lift the rubbers and on total you are going to find if I'm right you are going to find 10 screws that you have to take them off and you're going to find exactly the same in this side and you are going to find also on the other side so I have already unscrewed every single one some of the screws I have already taken out but the others they stays in place so I found that it's much easier and slowly you just lift and now the first thing that you have to do is take out all the screws that are here before you lose them. I was expecting much more dust because when you are using this wheel, you get a lot of mud on the mud guard and you have to take it out with some tools. And I was expecting to see a lot of stuff on the inside, but as you can see, it's quite clean. Okay, that is a bit of dust, but nothing spectacular. Sorry guys, if I'm not being showing you exactly what I was doing and all the process and talking to you guys, but there is no videos online showing us how to disassemble the wheel to have access to the motherboard. There is nothing explaining. So I have to try to find through the videos that is the disassembling process that basically they disassemble all the wheel how I could avoid to disassemble the maximum parts as possible. The first thing that I've done is disassemble the handle. On the top part here of the handles, you'll find a screw in both of the sides that have some silicone on top. So we'll try to use a tool, take all the silicone out, and after you use a Phillips screw and you take it out, the two screws. After you just have to slowly take it out, okay, from one side and the other, and you are going to find these bars on the center. When you have to reassemble once again, you have this piece of plastic in black on the corner. I'm not sure if you are capable to see. So like you can see, I'm wearing different clothes, different day, and I'm also working in a different repair. And this one is the Samsung S8 of my wife that she completely destroyed. And I'm trying to save it, not spending a lot of money. That will be for another video. But what I was trying to say before, it basically stops recording and I don't have noticed the day that I was doing it. Basically what you are need to do is is those wires, the white wires, have plastics on the bottom. And if you imagine that your wheel is here, those plastics have to be pointing on the outside when you try to put it back. But let's come back to the video and I hope that you are enjoying it. So at the moment, what I've done, I took out the new board that I have here and I tried to understand where are going the cables. Before I finish that, on the yellow parts here, the connectors, I write the colors of the cable. So if this one is red, blue and black, I put R, B, B. But I recommend you before you even start disassembling the, the motherboard from the place where it is, try to understand which cable it is which. Another thing that you will need for the next step, you will need some cable tires, okay? Very, very small ones. The ones that I'm going to use, they are yellow, but it doesn't matter which color we are using. What is important is that your wheel is working properly. I'm going to take out the board. In this case, it's six screws that I need to take it. At least it seems so. If it's more, I'll let you know. In the end, it's just four screws because when you look to the board, you have the board with more screws and I thought those ones I needed to take it out, but it's, you only take from the metal part here. So you have four screws to in each side. What I need to do now, I'll need to cut the cable tires to have to be able to disconnect this board, take it out and put the new one. So let's cut the cable tires and be careful to don't cut the cables because obviously you don't want that. One out of the way, two out of the way, three out of the way 
the moment is the only thing that we are cutting and we are going to cut the ones here on the bottom two and three so like you can see now the motherboard is getting more and more loose but we will need to disassemble those cables so we are completely sure they are on the way here on the sides like you can see is where is the cable to connect to the ports where you charge your eel so this one we can already disconnect because it's quite easy and we are sure which one it is you see we are going to disconnect this one here because it's really small and it's easy to have to connect again and now what we are going to do is you see this long cable here we are going to try to take it out from the way and it's connected from the side and after we are going to put on the top of the machine so another thing that i recommend before you just turn this in the opposite way just try to put some some tape around the cables that you just disconnect from the board so in that way you'll know which side it is so it's much much easier for you after to try to connect the new one it's incredible the amount of dust that is still coming out and now it's coming from oh i can feel it here look amazing and uh on the wheel is coming dust from every every hole because i'm pushing to the sides that is dust everywhere believe me this is all the mud that i took from 600 700 kilometers and the, the problem is you start forcing the motors because there is almost no space so i'm doing a lot of pressure i don't know if you guys can see still coming because after the wheel starts to not rotate properly look to this look to this and this is not all uh, like i said there is there is mud <laughs> all over the table if you love your wheel open it open it today tomorrow i'm sure that you are not expecting that is all this dirt on the inside of your wheel we are going now to try to put this in the right place be careful with the cables because it's really really tight move the cables from the way okay move it move it until you reach the back find the holes and screw at least two of them so one and the second one let's put it now what we are going to do is we are going to look to this one and we are going to notice where are coming the cables so if you've done what i said that you put the tape you will be able to understand which ones they goes in this way okay so it's what i'm going to do now so what i need is this one and the red one that is in here so this one i need also and i need the other one that is on top so i need these three cables so let's now connect them so they should be fine one is connected red one okie dokie so i have already connected the three cables so what we are going to do we are going to try to this cable is okay there so we are going to assemble here one okay tight really well they should be all right here and we are going to put another one here okie dokie okay and we are going to put a third one more or less in here so now that with the wheel already in the other side we are going now to just look to the old one and we are going to see which cables we need so i will need this one that i have here that will have to pass from the side i will need the this one 
the blue, black and red that is coming from the top and I will need this red cable. So let's now connect everything. We are going to connect first the red one. It's connected. The yellow plug is connected. Now the, the, the last one that was the most difficult one to take it out is connected. Once again, use cable ties. So let's use one here. Okay, this one is done. Another one here. Okay, and another one more or less here. Cut all the remaining parts once again. So now what we need to do is to connect all these white parts here on the corner. That is what is missing. So now I'll try to connect all of them. It's not an easy task, I have to say. Okie dokie. Perfect. Is in place. This one is on the bottom. Yeah, first, second. So this one is from here. Okie dokie. And last but not least. So yeah, all the cables are in place. At least they seem so. We've done everything, we have already put everything in place. Now what we have to do is obviously close all the wheel. And that process is basically the same, but in the opposite way when we was opening. So you have to put obviously the top of the shell, you have to put the handle, you have to put the sides, and in the end you have to put the pedals. I recommend you guys to open the wheels every year to take all that mud that stay there. Maybe disassembling the tire. It will be a cool idea, but I'll have to check it out a little bit better how to do it. Another thing that I recommend to you guys to use is this glue T8000. You can find this on AliExpress and um, this is used for the phones. So I'm going to use on the rubbers on the sides and on the top of the screws. I'm going to use this because it's also going to avoid that the water can go on the inside. When you are going to take the rubbers, buy this type of kit to disassemble phones. I hope that you enjoy and let's hope that when I will just finish to close all of this, this wheel works properly.